That's <laughs> Hitman, Hitman 2? I don't think so. We're on Hitman 3 now. We're climbing the Burj Dubai like Tom Cruise filming the Mission Impossible movie, begging everybody to use hand sanitizer for 15 seconds instead of 10, shall we? Look closer. I don't, I don't want to because I'm playing this in 1920 by 1080. Behind the everyday world. Beyond the headlines and the seats of power. A hidden hand. It hits a little different in 2021 than it did in 2016, huh? <laughs> To it, we were just assets to use and throw away, to do the unthinkable, the unforgivable, and it never gave us a second thought until now. After decades in the shadows, we are fighting back, me and 47. 47 what has been lost but we are closer than ever we yo do you realize that the number of american presidents is about to pass the number of agents that have existed of its boom partners in the specter program in their downfall we lay the past two presidents from now they'll be there and used to have uh, maybe Bob Hope, Steve Jobs, and Johnny Cash. Now in 21 or 2021, we got no jobs, no hope, and no cash. You know what I mean? I mean, did I did I call this Mission Impossible inspired, or or did I call it? That's all I'm saying. Hitman, three. A sex man, film. Okay. I'm ready. Where are we dropping, the boys? Probably the 9,000th streamer to make that you joke never, today, but that's okay. I never planned this far ahead. <laughs> you never do. I see someone got his memory back. I love that they're, st <laughs> they're still taking the story of Hitman like like it's a thing. I admire it. It's, it's ambitious, but I'm like... I'm only playing the game to throw bricks at people. Confirm target locations over. Diana, what's the status? Right. We have a situation. Carlisle has left the building. And I think I know why. The Constant has escaped. He persuaded one of the sailors into setting him free. It's just that easy, huh? Then, he's been seizing control of Providence assets and resources. I can only assume Carlisle is rushing to contain the damage. If she slips away again... We'll keep well, we'll have to make a Hitman sure 4 then. She doesn't. Meanwhile, the plan stays the same. Your destination is the Scepter, the world's tallest building where the partners are laying low, courtesy of their host, Sheikh Omar Al-Ghazali. Marcus Stuyvesant is fifth generation old money. His family made its fortune in real estate and banking and were at one point the chief landowners in New York. Any similarity to persons living or dead is completely uh, unintentional. Gunpowder during the American Civil War, and later established a globe-spanning empire in oil, coal, and steel. Both families long since retreated from public view, but their quiet dominance endures to this day. Now, the partners likely suspect that we're coming, so Mr. Gray will infiltrate building controls and disable all electronic doors and elevators. Stuyvesant and Ingram are about to find they have nowhere left to run. By the way, Agent 47, there's a big hot dog costume located in the 73rd floor maintenance shaft. We return the favor. There's a big, you can dress like a hot dog if you want to because there's an international hot dog convention happening in the banquet room of the Scepter right now. Just in case that interests you. Okay. We have to kill, I don't even know, I'm pretty sure that's Alan Arkin, noted Hollywood actor. This guy, I don't know, he, he thinks he's way cooler than he is. Like, he, he looks like he's from Ready Player 400. Um, we're starting up dressed like Ant-Man. 
We have no smuggled item and no gear. You know what? It's just that easy. We'll, we'll play on professional level difficulty. Let me in. I'm ready. <laughs> it's the best picture an intelligence agency could get. It's like Dead Mouse. He never takes off the the Welcome glaucoma to sunglasses. Dubai. Today is the inauguration of the scepter, and the ceremony is well. Yo, that's Leo. You will find Marcus Stuyvesant near the building's signature art installation. It's a wall with an LED screen that displays drill quotes. In his penthouse suite, security on highest alert. Mr. Gray is already in position and ready to assist. Yo, I'm ready. They wouldn't let me fall off, right? <laughs> 47. Come in. 47, do you copy? I'm here. Are you in position? I'm heading towards the point of entry. Good. Get back to me when you're there. It's a bad time to have Joy-Con drift. Yo, look at they're messing with the camera. Really? I we can't walk. I, th I thought it was gonna be like um. I thought this was gonna be like an Anne Orlando sort of situation. <laughs> Apparently not. Yo, I am the Sun Bear. Thank you, thank you. It do be looking like Anne Orlando. Yeah, I'm trying to get to the painted world of Ariamis. I'm also just trying to figure out uh, where to go. If I was a kid, this is where, like, I would have just been stuck on this game forever. There we go. I, I would have had to buy the Brady Game Strategy Guide. Progress is being made. Here we go. <laughs> Yo, they, they're really uh, taking advantage of the opportunity to show off these new visual sauces, huh? This is only on medium, I think, too. Locked. 47, use your camera and scan the lock, will you? I think I can override the Windows controls from here. Okay. Equip camera. Use camera. No filter. Hashtag no filter. Hashtag... Likes to kill... Kill their... Because he's a hitman. Is what I'm trying to say. I'm in position. 47, the inauguration is taking place close by. Um. <laughs> Once you've infiltrated it, get your bearings. I'm sure there must be floor plans somewhere. It's resonance. Understood. It rhymes. It rhymes with real life. On this one. If Ingram and Stuyvesant are alerted to our presence, we may lose them for good. We are so close, 47. Don't worry. They're not going anywhere. Hey, Freak Show, you're going nowhere. I got you for three minutes. Three minutes of playtime. Just waiting, just waiting for that first spaghetti can. I can't believe I remember the controls. Uh, <laughs> I kind of feel like, uh, is there perhaps like an outfit or something here that we could use? Um, a little bit concerned that as soon as I walk out there, we're going to end up getting embroiled in some quick time events. Whoa, dude, they're doing like some Kingsman stuff. Look at that. Welcome to the Barge Al Ghazali. Alright, where are we going? So just learn a little bit of something. What's going on over here? Hello, madam. Do you have any non Dasani? Welcome to the Scepter pamphlet. Small loan from my father. The game's always been dense. It's always been dense with some memes and some jokes. <laughs> what do we got over here? A little Nespresso? I will take uh, a Cafe Ole, please. Does this lady know that that's just a ventilation duct? I'm not sure. Either way, nothing more suspicious than an adult jogging indoors. But you know what? I... I am who I am. Let, let's go up to... Maybe we can put our fiber wire away. Probably shouldn't just be holding our fiber wire out for no reason. Look at the god rays. Oh, the atrium. Dude, they, they went over the top with the... 
with the cinematic in this, huh? The cinematography, I should say. No, the, if anything, the more time goes on, the less sus the barcode on the back of his head gets. Because now people might just be like, oh, that's just like my Apple Pay QR code. All right, we don't, we don't have the code for that yet. So like when you go to like a Starbucks or something like that, instead of holding your phone up to the, to the RFID reader, you could just be like, you know, just scan the back of my head. Beep. Can you call the elevator? Oh, oh, an opportunity. <laughs> oh, an opportunity per chance? I don't think I can go in there though, right? May I? Oh, I may. He's guarding the wall. Okay, good to know. He's just a precaution. I've been personally invited by the Royal Highness. Just chill, just chill. I should have clearance. The name is Zaina Kazim. Sir, I understand. But you can't enter without being searched. Zana Kazim, aka the Vulture. One of the top agents working for That's Saul Goodman. Dawn, the Pan African terrorist organization. I almost hired him myself once, but chose the maelstrom instead. Now what is his business here? It's standard procedure. This is ridiculous. Well, that's how it is. Think about it and come back if you want. I'll be waiting upstairs in the reception. Understood? Crystal. Now that's how you deal with a Karen. Okay. Step one. We got our first objective. Become Xana the Vulture Kazem. Now normally in my younger days, we might just bash him across the top of the head. Trying to be a little bit more uh, surgical Listen, now. I want to talk to the partners directly. Make them understand why all of this is happening. And that terminal gives me an idea. Oh, really? There's a server room near the Sheikh's personal reception. If you can gain access to it, we might be able to recover useful intel from it. We'll have to work together to hack the system, but it's our best shot. Okay, thank you as well for that intelligence. Thank you, thank you. You know what I can't help but notice here? We got a little secluded area. We, we got our, a little high-tension wire. We got some waist-high bushes. You see waist-high bushes? I, I, I know what's about to befall him. Oh, what the frickin' heck is that, dude? The heck is going on over here? Somebody did playing some light classical music? Surely not an omen for what's about to happen to me! Are you just gonna drag him into the bushes here? Guess what? All of a sudden, it's just that simple. We can take his gun. Oh, but we no, because they're gonna they're gonna um, search us when we go in. But nope, nope, nope. Nah, no, because no, you know what? Because you're not because there's nothing over there. Because there's nothing over there. Because I turned off the sound system. Oh my goodness! All right. Well, so it begins. So it begins. You will die today. Whoa. <laughs> We're just hanging. Just hanging out. He doesn't know what's up. No, you don't. No, you don't. Because look at this. The master of quick time events is logged on. We're just... We're just going to knock him out. Take his outfit. Fresh disguise. We're going to drag him in here. Look, it's me. I am a good guy. Hey, I, th I thought he went to the bathroom. I heard him complain and he had a big old diarrhea. All right. We're free. Don't worry. I knocked him out and left him in the bushes. All right. <laughs> Everybody chill out. Everything's fine. Nothing to concern yourself with. Nothing to concern yourself with. You know, I just gotta know. There's there, there's no way this should work out, but I've just gotta know. Diana, we've been working together for so long. <laughs> it's hard to... P 
peel back the professional veil sometimes and say how I really feel about things. Uh, okay, you can, some, you can get some poisoning done there, no doubt about that. There you go. To the owner of the Ford parked outside, um, you left your lights on. Well, now that I'm a guard, maybe I can yeah. just walk by you. Hello. Don't even know where I'm going, but that's the that's the beauty of Hitman. Look at the udders on that thing. It's looking like that big titted hornet that went around Twitter yesterday. Did you see that one? You see that one? You hear about this? Maybe you got to spend a lot of time online, I think, to to understand the reference. But that's okay. It's the beauty of Hitman. We're just we're just walking by, figuring out what we want to do. You know, it's a story. Uh oh, <laughs> a cumulus. Is that what Dan named uh, Aerodactyl? Hey. Hello. 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 All right. So, this is where one of the targets is hanging out. He was hanging out near the art exhibition. He's one floor above us right now. But guess what? As a member of the authorized personnel, now I can <laughs> go where I please. If you'll excuse me, I'm just going to go up this maintenance staircase. What could possibly go wrong? What could possibly go? A couple of texts? Okay, hello. Hello. I, uh, uh... Not a couple of texts. A few texts. Okay, much more dangerous. They're harder to deal with. First things first, this belongs to me. That belongs to me now. Second thing second. You got any screwdrivers over here? Second thing second. This belongs to me. Sorry, man, but you're just making me feel a little uncomfortable. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm I'm here for your safety, but I guess if I'm making you uncomfortable, I'll just let you get killed by the murderer that's running around then. That blows we might get some irregularities with the lights. Things might not notice. Lucy will. She'll flip. She demands perfection. I told you this was a problem this morning. You haven't told her yet, have you? I tried. But this is her day. It's her first okay. If a, if a fuse pops, there may be some irregularities with the lights. If there's some irregularities with the lights, that means there might be some packets of darkness where we can execute our crimes perfectly without being uh, noticed. So we're just going to wait for them to get a little distracted, perhaps, and then maybe we'll bust into the fuse box real quick. <laughs> Quietly, please. Oops. Look at that. Look at that. There's no there's no fuses left, man. Don't waste your time. I already cleaned that out. All right, so I, I don't really know what that means except for there being some irregularities like this one's turning on and off over and over again. Does definitely appears like we could drop that on top of somebody if we played our cards right. All right, so you know, pretty standard Hitman level so far, just causing chaos but not really accomplishing anything. <laughs> yeah, more than anything else, really, just kind of being an a-hole, I suppose. Not not really, just you know, ruining their day for no reason. Guess what? Oops. What the heck happened? <laughs> I am fixing the fuse box. And I know what I'm doing. Hello. What could you possibly be doing in there? It's me, the hitman. And I'm going to Can I wear your clothing? Cuz I was kind of hoping to be Dressed as a technician? No, they don't fit. Well, 
Misery loves company. That's what I've always said. Sorry to inform you that you also will be deposited into the fragile box and uh, the fuse box will remain off. If that's what it takes, then that's what it takes. Hey, how's it going out here? Oh, a camera. I remember you. So the camera is going to see what we're doing. We don't really have a gun, right? No, we took a gun, but it would it's not a silenced gun. Okay, okay. I'm not I'm not too worried about silent assassin early on here. If we just kill everybody on the level, everything should be fine. Um it, that hardly seems safe. <laughs> is this like is this seismology, seismologic technology? Like, what, are these air conditioners? Like, what the heck's going on here? Target practice? <laughs> it does look like Fall Guys. You're not wrong. You know what? The gun is totally silenced, by the way. Controller aiming, dude. Nah, dude, the electronics are just, uh, they're on the fritz today. <laughs> Fuse boxes are, are popping everywhere. Mm, people's necks are popping everywhere as well, because guess what? The crowbar collector's back on the scene. Pop that in your front pocket. I don't even want this outfit. I know I said earlier we wanted this outfit. I feel like... You know, there's a principle in, in security, which is if you're wearing the right uniform and you're walking confidently, you can basically do whatever you want. And uh, I think that we're proving uh, the, the truthiness of that statement right now. I don't really want to downgrade. Just checking. <laughs> throw him off? I'm not going to throw him off if he lands on the ground. He could kill somebody. Oh, we're uh, trespassing? Okay, now that's a better uniform. Now that's a better uniform. <laughs> Helicopter pilot! It's the greatest uniform in Hitman history. Helicopter pilot. Dude, what do you think people 35,000 feet in the air are going to be like, oh, there's a dent in that chopper? It's very simple. We're gonna knock him out. I have to be honest with you, we may throw his body over the side. I haven't decided yet. Because <laughs> I don't know where we're gonna hide it, but I'll tell you one thing. This man's is not long for the world. Now I am helicopter pilot. Oh, a little achievement unlocked. And, and without a doubt, the most powerful uniform in, in sports entertainment. You know, I bet if I just drop him... Like, if I just twist him up a little bit... Look at this! Look at this! He's, like, perfectly... Well, I'll probably get his head out from the side a little bit. Come on, man. Just, just, can you, can you bend, can you bend for me a little? Yeah, yeah, like that, there you go. Look at that, get him all twisted up like a pretzel. He, he's invisible. Beautiful. Okay, what do we got going on over here? I don't know, I don't know what we're doing yet. I think I've established that point. I don't really know what we're doing yet, but what I do know is that this, you know, if you're, if you're wearing this outfit, you can go wherever you want. You're gonna stop a helicopter pilot from doing something? I don't think so. I don't think so. You think I can get away with this one right here? Powerful men don't ask questions. They just get the job done. This area is a restricted area and I can't let you in. Excuse me. Maybe you, you appear to be mistaken. I am the helicopter pilot. So, perhaps you'd like to revise your attitudes? Do I need to be the harp player? 
Do I need to be the, the, the harp player to get in here? You just entered a no-fly zone, mister. <laughs> Server room! Hello. Hello. I'm a nice helicopter pilot. Meeting room. I'm just, I gotta get close to these guys to see if they're gonna, if Hello? they're gonna be upset with me. Oh. Yeah, I just wanted to remind you about the uh, lockdown drill tomorrow. <laughs> that's right, 900 hours. Whoa, that's like 20 work weeks, dude. Security room. Yeah, same code. Six, nine, two, seven. Just don't tell your mother I'll have to shoot her. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Nothing's going to happen. Good. Yeah, I will do. 6927. My man, he didn't even send it in a text. He just, like, legitimately said it out loud, huh? Hello. I need to get to the security room. I left my chopper keys in there. Left the keys to my chopper. We tolerate no trespassers. Okay. So you have to follow me right now. I will. Are we clear? Yes. Just go, please. Uh, dude, look. That was it, sir. You're free to go. Oh. <laughs> okay. Well, no. <laughs> why didn't you say so? <laughs> oh, ooh, that was that was close. All right. What did he say was in the was in the locker or in the safe? Obviously, I want to I want to slice. It was a cheeseburger? Yo, that's like the most deadly weapon in the game. Evacuation key card. Okay. We're going to the server room first. That's the toilet, whatever that means. I don't speak French. Okay, you gotta you just chill for a second. This is important. I'm trying to get the maximum score. So I'm just waiting until this guy, you know, he's probably checking his Robin Hood account right now. And he's going to move. And then we're going to blast that really quickly. Paint can? Can I take the paint can? Can I use the, oh, this is the, you can scan that on the window to get in and out. Okay. Server room. This way. How did I miss that? Storage room and server room. I've never heard of separation of concerns. Okay. He doesn't like me going in there. Nor does um, the maintenance staff. They don't mind me being in the corridor, though, so that's okay. I don't... Okay. We're here. Dude, this is so cool. At my old job, like 10 years ago, I stayed uh, late one night to help, like, swap servers over or something. I don't know. I was really just, like, the, the grunt work. Um, and I'll tell you, their server room looked nothing like this. Their, their server room was basically, like, a glorified closet with powerful air conditioning. This thing is, like, it's crazy. Look at all these Omars. <laughs> Under function. We can use this to summon the partners to a fake meeting, 47. All right, I'm no hacker like Olivia, but I <laughs> Who's Olivia? To gain access to the terminal. Which one, though? Which one? One, open elevator doors, rearrange meetings, disable cameras, deposit emergency funds. Okay, step one. We are going to sabotage number three, which is going to... Be fine and remove all the cameras. Damn it. A silent alarm has been tripped. Security is on its way. Hide 47. I'm not Agent 47, I'm a mere pilot. Hey, what the heck is going on? Dude, get out of here! There's a there's a madman on the loose. I'm going back to my chopper. 
I mean, flight's dangerous, but this is a whole new... Whatever. Yeah, wait a minute, this isn't my helicopter. Oh, hello, hello, excuse me, madam. I think I need one of those outfits, man. Or maybe, now that I've distracted security, and a silent alarm has been tripped. Yes, sorry about that, Fuji Yoink. Seven. Let's try again, shall we? Ah, I think I've got it. We'll need a key Guess what, dummy? Guess what, dummy? Someone in maintenance should have one we can borrow for a spell. Hmm. Sir. Good day to you, officer. I feel safe when you're around. Okay, look at that. So I don't think this is the key card we need. Because we have this is the evacuation key card. We need a key card to get to the penthouse staff? I don't know. I should probably like listen from time to time, but that's never really been my area of expertise. Um Okay. So we're gonna we're gonna knock out a member of the maintenance staff. Why is it sticky here? <laughs> oh no. no. And we're going to hide them in that locker. Oh, dude. I forgot. I've become so much more powerful now. As soon as you get one screwdriver, the game's basically hey, won. Why don't you go check that out? I hear you. Silent assassin. Oh, we don't even want his outfit. We're just we're just st stripping him for parts for sport. Link. She's coming back. She's coming back. Oh no, she's got to go. Mm, but what if there's a crowbar over there? Hey, who's throwing stuff? And then you do this. <laughs> then you do one of these. Okay, saved. Saved. There you go. You guys are going to get nice, close, and personal. You're probably going to be very upset with this man when you wake up uh, next to him inside of the storage locker and he has no clothes on, but uh, I promise you he has done nothing untowards. You guys are just both collateral damage. Plus, I'm pretty sure his, his body's going to be so broken by the time he wakes up. <laughs> oh, of course. Well, hold on. We need this, and... Uh, one of these as well, please? Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Now we got the we got the janitor's key card. We got the janitor's key. They don't even get the card, they just get the Oh my god. They're going like full analog. Okay, but like what's the point, you know? So we're out here, but what's the point? I guess you could drop some bodies off here. The point is pretty. Fair enough. I'll give you fair enough on that one. Okay, so I think it's back to the server room. Close. Close? It can't be closed because I broke it with a crowbar. <laughs> Am I crazy? What do you want from me? Well, downloading funny dog video, downloading video feed funny dogs. <laughs> funny monkey, look at the monkey. Funny monkey, Jif, funny monkey. Okay. Unlock key card reader. Well, that must have done something. Look at that. Can you see anything different in the room? <laughs> it's a tough question. Chat, I see it. I was just hoping that maybe you guys could answer if you saw it. So that we could all compare notes. Is there like a wire on the ground that this... Oh, dude, what about this green light? Is that new? <laughs> I saw it? Yeah, but what, what... Could you tell like the rest of the class... Oh, wait a minute. The font's yellow on this one now. 
Yeah, yeah. Monitoring server disabled. So send it. Good. Oh, okay. Now all you need to do is access the terminal and use the calendar I, option. I would to like to disable to cameras. Building cameras are now disabled. I would like to deposit emergency funds. <laughs> oh, dude, it's just spitting out gold bars. That's sick, because we can we can pick those all up if we can figure out where that is and then toss them. Elevator doors are now open. Oh. Okay, and we've updated Good the work. meeting time. The meeting has been booked. The partners should be moving up here shortly. Huh. Looks like the lounge can be sealed off for private conversations. Oh, how about that? Can I... Excellent. I can I escape the room? Moving. You should join their meeting. Time to end this. Can I escape... Seven. Can I... Cameras are showing a lot of guards. I really don't want to go out the other door. They wouldn't suspect one of their own, though. Uh-oh. Um, okay, no, this... We've been through this before. This is just the dude. We're not sweating this. This is a job for the crowbars. What the hell was that? It's raining Show crowbars yourself. around here. Oh. Brother, to get up! Oh! No, he's not dead. He's not dead. It, it's fine. It's fine. He's not dead. The details of his death have been greatly exaggerated. Little janitor's key card there. Good to know. Ooh, <laughs> nothing wrong with that. Nothing wrong with that, baby. And we look on the map, and we're free to go. Okay. Next step, we got to get to the lounge. Meeting room? I got to be honest with you, brother. I think I need your outfit. Please stay back. I will not. I will not stay back. I'll just give him a quick shot with the hammer. Penthouse guard. I thought that that was like, we discovered you, but that's okay. Alright, you guys are going to have some questions as well. But you know what? That's half the fun, is what happens after. Oh, hello. <laughs> okay, okay, we go upstairs now. Upstairs. Funk you up. Upstairs, funk you up. Upstairs, funk you up. Upstairs, funk you up. I was not paying attention to what he said at all. Just for the record. <laughs> Take the elevator? No, I uh, refuse. So this guy, this guy knows what's up, which means we must, he must be stopped. What the heck is even that? Can you get one of these going? And then you go, what the? Hey, free tools. <laughs> Mmm. Oops. Yo, dude, the DAC DTI. Brrr, keep the MF and thing on me. Feel like just in the interest of you no know, safety, we should just leave him on the stairs, maybe. There you go. Now, we, we don't know where our escape route is yet. Where is he? Where's the sheep? I told you to leave, didn't I? On the other hand... <gasps> what are you still doing in here? Leave us. You talking to me? Sorry. Sorry, sir. Please vacate the room. This is my mistake, sir. I didn't. I didn't. 
But I can't I can't go out that way because Are you talking to me? I'm, I'm I'm out of sight, out of mind, brother. What are you, doing? What are you talking about? I'm out of here. Please vacate the room. This is a private conversation. Okay, I'm going, dude. I don't think I want to do that. I told you to leave, didn't I? Maybe let's do it. Oh, 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 you're in trouble. Carl, did you do that? I certainly did not. I have no idea what's going on. I do. Gentlemen, what's the meaning of this? You, you are the one responsible for all this. Gray. What do you want? Something that has been a long time. <laughs> oh God, he's on FaceTime. Revenge. Revenge? How banal. You killed Cobb, Nanakov, Caruso, the Washington twins, everyone at Haven. You broke into our bank. And you outed Providence to the world. Whatever perceived slight we've done to you is insignificant to the amount of damage you've caused us. You've caused the world. You're a murderous terrorist. Nothing more. What did we ever do to you anyway? You Not yet. Not yet. Nothing. Providence, everything. Providence made me. And at the flick of a pen, Providence broke me. I'm just Yo, can I take the take the limes? Give me a quick kitchen knife real quick. What else we got over here? You got any good loot? Lootless. Fully and looted. You burn everyone and everything else to the ground from the comfort of the shadows. No more. You're delusional. Exposing us. You think he's gonna drop that thing on me? Beyond moving a few pieces around on a I'm a little scared. The world believes we're dead. What more do you want? Me. Nothing. My friend, however. That's me, that's my cue. That's my cue. Hold. Nice building you've got here. Shame if you got killed with it. I'm just here to watch you die. 47. Finish it. Sorry, I kind of blew my cue on that one. 47. <laughs> and then, where do you think you're going, buddy? Mmm, he curved the blade. Finally, Stuyvesant and Ingram are gone. Providence will soon be no more than a bad memory. 47. Thank you. You're welcome. You don't don't I'll cry. Meet you at the rendezvous on the edge of town. Okay. I got I got to get the heck out of here though. I don't know how to how do you open these things up, man? All I could really do was close. Uh, you know what? I think he's going to be pretty cheesed. When when the doors open up, they're gonna be like, okay, here's how we're gonna do this. I got it. We're gonna deactivate it. We're gonna hide the bodies first. Then we're gonna deactivate it, and then we're gonna pretend that we ran in with the other guards, and we're gonna go. What is this, man? Where did they go? And then we're gonna go. Oh well, five o'clock, and we're gonna just get in our car and drive away. Okay, so it's, it's gonna go a little bit. It's gonna go a little bit like this. What the heck even freaking happened in here, man? Oh, they don't. They actually just don't care. Okay, well, fine. No, all right. <laughs> Do not go in there, by the way. Fabergé egg. Mmm. Don't. Oh, I'm not gonna jeopardize this now. I'm not gonna jeopardize it. Okay, 17 meters away, some kind of escape exists. We all gotta find the guy who did this. And then because I opened the elevator doors? Oh, baby, if you'll excuse me. Mmm, going down? <laughs> Textbook. All right, that didn't go so badly. Obviously, like, the the meat of Hitman is playing through the missions, like, multiple times. 
Um, I haven't decided yet whether we're just going to go straight into the next mission or play this one again. I think we might just play this one again. Otherwise, we'll, we'll basically finish with the campaign in like, you know, <laughs> a day. I gotta tell you, hey, look at this. Uh, one star honestly is better than usual for me. Th we're number three of four on our uh, on our friends list. I have to imagine I could probably guess who uh, is fourth. <laughs> if I had to take a stab at it, I feel like, yeah, that seems about right. Malf, of course, uh, you, you hate to see it, Malf, with the higher score, but in a worse position. Bear Taffy, versatile, hands-on assassin. Malf, shadow ICA assassin. NL, melee master assassin. Dan Giesling, melon man. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> All right, let's let's replan this mission. That was good though. Or I don't know. What do you think? You know, let's let's run a poll in chat quickly. If I can figure out how to do that, would you rather? Because I think both ways work out just fine. Would you rather run it back a couple of times, or would you rather finish the story and then we can go back and do them as we see fit? You know, as, as I'm saying it, I'm like, why don't we just mainline the story? Not like just bang bang try to finish it. Why don't we improv the whole the whole story and then we can always come back and play them multiple times? Because like I, I promise you, without a doubt, we're gonna we're gonna play them multiple times. That seems right. Plus, we'll probably unlock some more stuff. We'll learn things as well. <laughs>